Good morning traders and welcome to the Daily Call today Monday the 8th of May. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay so let us have a look at uh, the final session of last week to see what's happened. Um, in Australia we had the RBA, uh, essentially the RBA has been expecting for some time that inflation will increase uh, gradually over the, the period that is about to uh, unfold so to speak um, and to be specific uh, to levels above 2%. Recent data has now been consistent with their expectations and this was really the main message from their policy statement. I guess that means more of the same from them. So that's what uh, happened there. In New Zealand, uh, inflation expectations number uh, figure came in at 2.2% and that makes the long-term inflation uh, expectation now rising at a faster pace than in the first quarter. So the second quarter moving uh, faster. So let's see what continues to happen there with the uh, Kiwi dollar. In the US, okay the US was the big one, we had non-farm payrolls. Essentially uh, the non-farm payrolls reports were overall positive. Okay, however they failed to inspire new gains in the US dollar and surprisingly now the Fed fund futures is price, has priced in a 100% chance of a rate increase in June. So investors are obviously feeling that this will now happen, um, it doesn't mean it's a certainty of course, it's only uh, the, the futures percentage uh, probability that will happen. Um, what will be interesting is to see if the US continues to to gain in momentum this week given that the market expectation of a rate rise is so high. So let's uh, keep an eye on the US dollar but overall non-farm payrolls was positive but the US dollar didn't really make up too much ground from that reporting. Okay, time now to have a look at our chart of the day. The chart that we have today is a US yen. We are at a critical level on a, I guess it's a, it's a resistance line there. And the question really, I do not have a price action entry for you right now. There was not much showing in today's charts, but what we're looking for is to see if the current candle can be a, a very strong bullish a breaking candle, okay, which would give us an opportunity to become buyers or alternatively we that current candle which is this one here that I'm pointing at to you right now, this could turn into an engulfing candle moving back down which would also set up an opportunity for us to short. So let's see what happens, what kind of candle this one turns out to be. It's the most interesting chart and hence today's chart of the day, US Yen on a daily time frame. Alright, let's have a look at what's about to happen in the session that is unfolding. Very quiet one, being a Monday we have China trade balance numbers and this is tentative, no scheduled time for release so just look out for that. Usually it tends to might happen around about 11 to, to 1 p.m. In, the, in my local time which is Australian Eastern Standard Time. There you have it. As always, please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, have a fantastic trading day. I'll talk to you guys this afternoon at 3.30 for those of you who are coming to the full market analysis uh, class and strategy. Otherwise, I'll talk to you tomorrow on the daily call. That's bye for now.